In this video, tuturuan ko kayo paano mag-divide ng polynomials na may divisor na trinomial. Ito yung ating mga examples na gagawin. Uh, 1, 2, and 3. And meron tayong bonus na example dito. What if kung ang uh, divisor natin ay meron siyang 2 na coefficient sa leading. So, anong gagawin? Paano siya i-divide using synthetic division. So, let's start with number 1. We will divide x to the 6 minus 7x to the 5 plus 20x to the 4 minus 23x to the 3 plus 15x squared minus 30x plus 54 by x squared minus 5x plus 9 using synthetic division. Ito yung ating mga notes. In dividing polynomial using synthetic division, Write down the coefficients of the numerator and denominator. So, isulat lang natin yung mga coefficients ng ating numerator and denominator class. We have here 1 para sa coefficients ng numerator. Negative 7, 20, negative 23, uh, positive 15, negative 30, and 54. Para sa ating uh, denominator, ang i-consider lang natin itong coefficients ng middle term and the last term. We have negative 5 and 9. Here, ilista lang natin ng ganito ang style. I-draw natin ng ganito para magawa natin yung synthetic na division. So, ayan na yung mga coefficients ng ating uh, numerator. Be sure na naka-arrange yung ating exponents sa uh, descending order. So, we have here uh, x to the 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. So, dapat ganyan ang arrangement. Before natin isulat, yung kanilang mga coefficients and then again tulad ng sabi ko kanina yung sa ating divisor yung sa middle term lang at saka last term ang coefficients na ating isasali so we have negative 5 5 na lang and then 9 is magiging negative 9 now we will start here bring down natin itong 1 sa pinakababa like that bring down 1 and then itong negative 7 i-bring down din natin ayan and the next step, you will multiply uh, 1 to 5 and negative 9. So first, 1 times 5, ilagay natin ang sagot dito. So the answer is 5. 1 times 9, do natin sa ilalagay, that is 9. And then i-add natin itong dalawa. We have negative 7 plus 5, of course dito yung sagot, uh, negative 2. We have here neg uh, 20 plus negative 9. That is actually 20 minus 9 lang. The answer is 11. Second step, ito na. Imamultiply na naman natin ito. Negative 2 times 5. And times negative 9. At ilalagay natin yung sagot dito. At saka doon. Ayan. And then we will add again. 11 plus negative 10 is 1. Then negative 23 plus 18 is negative 5. Our next number dito is 1. We multiply ulit natin dun sa 5. So, 1 times 5 is 5. Ilagay natin dun. And then, 1 times uh, negative 9 is negative 9. Ilalagay natin dun. And then, add naman natin. Negative 5 plus 5 here. The answer is 0. 15 uh, plus negative 9 or 15 minus 9. The answer is 6. And then, next. So, 0 na naman. We will multiply 0 dun sa 5. So, 0 times 5. Ilagyan natin ang sagot dito. The answer is 0. And then 0. Uh, 0 times negative 9. Dito natin ilalagay ang sagot. 0 din. And then add natin. 6 plus 0. Of course, the answer is 6. Dito, negative 30 plus 0 is negative 30. Okay, last. Okay, 6 times 5. Ilalagyan natin dito ang sagot. That's 30. And then 6 times negative 9. Ilalagyan natin dito ang sagot. That is negative 54. And we will add this, negative 30 plus 30, of course, 0. 54 plus negative 54, 0 din. And finally, bring down natin yung 0 na yan dito. So, in this part of the synthetic division, itong last two terms natin dito, ito yung magiging remainder niya. Since 0 yan, so ibig sabihin, walang remainder. And ito yung magiging coefficients ng sagot. Ito, ito, ito. Okay? So, ano yung uh, first natin na variable dito? So, tinan muna natin yung uh, ating numerator. Meron tayong x to the 6. 6 ang exponent. Denominator, we have x square. So, square siya. I-divide lang natin yan. 
x to the 6 divide x square or we will simply subtract the exponent 6 minus 2 is 4 ang variable ng first natin na uh, coefficient dito ay x to the 4 and then pababa na yun x to the 3 x to the 2 x to the 1 and then constant so the answer will be ito so x to the 4 minus 2x cubed plus x square so wala nang x dito kasi 0 naman yun so no need to write pero kung ilalagay mo talaga magiging plus 0x but hindi na kailangan yun basta 0 dyan and then the constant is 5 so we don't have any remainder so wala tayong ipa plus dyan sa ating sagot ok para sa example number 2 we have here so ganun din we will list the coefficients like this we have 2 there 2 we have 12 a negative 18 we have 4 a 24 and negative 36 sa divisor ganun, uh, ano lang din oh, 6 yung 6 dyan naging negative 6 yung negative 9 dyan is 9 na lang so the same process bring down natin itong 2 dito at saka yung 12 na yan dito and then we will start the multiplication 2 times negative 6 ilalagay natin ang sagot dito that's 12 and then 2 times 9 dito naman yung sagot that's 11 ah 18 then we add negative 2 at 12 plus negative 12 or 12 minus 12 0 so ilalagay natin dyan uh, and then dito din negative 18 plus 18 okay that's also 0 next you multiply 0 na naman so whatever yung lalabas dito na number ito yung multiply natin dun sa coefficients ng divisor so 0 times negative 6 and 0 times 9 is 0 so ilalagay natin dito yung sagot 0 at saka dun 0 and then we will add 0 plus 0 here is 0 we have here 4 plus 0 is 4 and then next number here 0 we multiply again to the coefficients of the divisor 0 times negative 6 ilalagay natin dito naman sa next 0 din and 0 times 9 is 0 ilalagay natin doon and then we will add 4 plus 0 of course the answer is 4 24 plus 0 is 24 and then last number here is 4 I I I multiply natin doon 4 times negative 6 ilalagay natin dito that's negative 24 and then 4 times 9 doon naman natin sa ilalagay we have 36 and then add natin yung last two uh, result dito 24 minus 24 is 0 negative 36 plus 36 simply 36 minus 36 equals 0 also and finally bring down 0 here so ibig sabihin nito wala din itong remainder okay now ano ang ating variable ng first term natin dito so look at the variable ng ating numerator x to the 5 and then denominator x square so subtract lang natin yan 5 minus 2 3 Meaning, ang sagot natin ay mag sa x cube ang kanyang variable. So, we have here 2x cube, 0x square, 0x plus 4. Pero itong dalawang 0 na ito sa gitna, no need to write that kasi understood naman na 0 yung dalawa. So, the answer now will become simply as 2x cube plus 4. And, wala uling remainder. In these examples, kung nakikita nyo, yung ating numerator ay kulang yung terms kung i-arrange natin yan sa descending order ng coefficients. Walang x to the 4, x to the 3, x to the 2. Meron lang x to the 5 at saka x or x to the 1. Kaya yung mga coefficients na mawala ay gagawin natin 0 like this. So we have 3 here. So wala yung x to the 4 dito sana, x to the 3 dito, x to the 2 dito, and then x and dito, and that's 2, nandun and then yung constant, wala din tayo kaya gawin natin 0 and ganun din yung ating divisor, negative 2 will become 2, negative 4 will become 4, we will bring down 3 here and then 0 here then we will start multiplying 3 times 2 lagi natin dito that's 6 3 times 4, ilagay natin dito. That's 12. And then we will add 0 plus 6. And that's 6. 0 plus 12. That's 12. Next, we multiply 6 times 2. Ito natin ilalagay. That's 12. And then 6 times 4. We will put it there. That's 24. And then we will add 12 plus 12. That's 24 here. 
0 plus 12 there is also 24 there and the next we will multiply 24 times 2 ilagay natin dito the answer is 48 and then 24 times 4 ilalagay natin dito the answer is 96 and then add na naman 24 plus 48 that is 72 2 plus 96 that is 98 and then last the 72 you multiply natin sa 2 magiging 144 and then 72 times 4 magiging uh, 288 and then we will add the last two columns 98 plus 144 we have 242 and 0 plus 288 equals 288 and then ilagay natin dito bring down 288 so itong last term natin dito last two terms ito yung magiging remainder natin so automatically itong pinaka last dito this will be the constant of the remainder and then itong second term dito ito yung magkakaroon ng variable na x the answer now is ayan we have of course x to the 5 ang ating numerator x squared and denominator so the answer the variable in the answer will start at x to the 3 or x cubed so the answer will become 3x cubed plus 6x squared plus 24x plus 72 plus the remainder 242x plus 288 over the divisor x squared minus 2x minus 4 nandun so whatever the remainder here lalagyan lang natin ang denominator kung ano man yung ating divisor dito Okay, so here are the long um, sinold natin. So here is the summary of the answers. Pero meron tayong bonus na gagawin. Bonus example number one. This time, pag may two na or more, so yun medyo mahirap na gawin itong synthetic division. Pero pwedeng pwede pa rin. Ang una natin gagawin dito, we will divide the coefficients of the denominator by two. Bakit to? Kung ano man yung coefficient dito, yun ay divide natin sa ating uh, coefficient sa divisor pero ang numerator ganoon pa rin so since nakarange naman yung numerator natin sa pasunod na descending order ng exponent 4, 3, 2, 1, 0 then we will just rewrite their coefficients 8, negative 6, 3, 18 and negative 8 sa ating denominator magiging itong 3 negative 3 divide 2 kaya 3 over 2 there and then 4 divide 2 that's 2 Yun nga, yung kanilang sign ay papalitan natin. Now, the same thing to do. Bring down 8 here and bring down 6 here. Negative 6 pala. And then, you multiply 8 times 3 half. So, mas madaling gawin, divide muna sa 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4 times 3. Ilagay natin ang sagot dito. And that is 12. And then, next, 8 times negative 2. Ilagay natin dito. And that is uh, negative 16. And then, add negative 6 plus 12 or 12 minus 6 the answer is 6 and then yung isa 3 plus uh, negative 16 or 3 minus 16 that is negative 13 and then next yung 6 naman multiply natin sa 3 halves so 6 times 3 halves so mas madali nga diba itayin mo na 6 divided 2 is 3 times 3 is 9 or pwede rin naman diretso 6 times 3 is 18 divided 2 the answer is 9 there and then 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. And then add again. Negative 13 plus 9. That will be um, negative 4. And then 18 minus 12. That is 6. So last. Negative 4 times 3 over 2. So negative 4 times 3 is 12. Negative 12 divided 2 is uh, negative 6. And then negative 4 times negative 2 the answer is 8 there and then we will add the last two columns uh, 6 minus 6 is 0 and then it's uh, 8 negative 8 plus 8 is also 0 and bring down 0 so ibig sabihin ito wala tayong remainder so since nag divide tayo ng 2 doon sa coefficients ng denominator kanina ito so ganun din ang gagawin natin sa sagot coefficients sa sagot na 8, 6 and negative 4 i-divide din natin yan sa 2 and the result is uh, 4 kasi 8 divided to 4 6 divided to is 3 negative 4 divided 2 is negative 2 ito na yung final na magiging coefficient ng ating final answer so our answer will be ayan 4x square plus 3x minus 2 and then there's no remainder 
For the last example we have here, bonus example, o ganoon din, meron tayong coefficient sa ating uh, leading uh, term ng ating denominator this time 3. So, ang gagawin natin, i-divide din sa 3 yung uh, 4 dito at saka yung negative 5 dyan. Yun ang ilalagay natin dun sa ating synthetic division na uh, table. We have 4 divide 3, kaya 4 over 3, and then magiging negative ang sign. Negative 5 divide 3 is 5 over 3. So, pa negative siya kaya magiging positive dito. And then, numerator, ganun lang din. Ilista lang natin lahat ng kanilang mga coefficients here. So, same thing to do. Bring down 18. Bring down another 18 there. Then, multiply 18 times negative 4 over 3. So, mas madali kung mag-divide muna tayo. 18 divide 3, that's 6. 6 times negative 4 is negative 24. And then, next, 18 divide 3 here is 6 times 5 is 30 so ilalagay natin dun and then add 18 minus 24 here or 18 plus negative 24 that is a negative 6 then negative 11 plus 30 here is 19 and then let's go to negative 6 times this one so negative 6 divide 3 is negative 2 times negative 4 is 8 there and then negative 6 divide 3 here is negative 2 times 5 is negative 10 so ilagay natin dun and then add 19 plus 8 here is 27 46 plus negative 10 here is 36 and then next 27 divide 3 here is 9 times 4 is negative 36 so ilagay natin dun and then 27 divide 3 here is 9 times 5 is 45 and then we will add 36 minus 36 here is 0 and then Dito, negative 5 plus 45 is 40 and then bring down here finally the 40 so in this case 0 ito then 40 meaning meron tayong remainder na 40 and this is constant wala itong x ang may x is nandito pero 0 siya so no need to write the x there pero dahil nag divide nga tayo ng 3 kanina dun sa ating divisor ganun din ang gagawin natin dito sa ating uh, coefficients ng sanggot e divide din natin ito ng 3 so, 18 divide 3, the result is 6. Negative 6 divide 3 is negative 2. 27 divide 3 is 9. So, ito yung magiging coefficient ng ating final answer. So, the answer is, ayan, so 6x squared. x squared siya dahil x to the 4, ang ating numerator, and x to the square, ang ating uh, denominator. So, divide natin yan. So, x squared, umpisa. 6x squared minus 2x plus 9 plus, the remainder is 40. So, 40 all over, um, the divisor 3x squared plus 4x minus 5 take note ng ating remainder dito na 40 ay hindi natin isasali sa pag divide ng 3 ang i-divide lang natin ay itong mga coefficients ng ating sagot that's it thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe this is your math tutor